Steven Gerrard has been confirmed as the new boss of Rangers on a four-year deal. A record sport broke the news on Thursday night. The Liverpool legend has said yes to Dave King and the Ibrox board and he'll now take his first steps into management in Glasgow. Gerrard said, I am honoured to become the next manager of Rangers. I have enormous respect for this football club, and its history and tradition. I can't wait to start this new journey at Rangers as we look to build on the many successes that this club has achieved. After a highly distinguished playing career, which included honours such as the Champions League, Gerard retired aged 36 following a brief stint in Major League Soccer with LA Galaxy, and in February 2017 he took up the position of U18's coach at the Liverpool Academy. Dave King and the Rangers board have persuaded Steven Gerrard to become the new boss at Ibrox. The former England captain, who won 114 caps for his country, turned down the opportunity to manage MK Dons in October 2016, but now feels the time is right to take control of a senior side. The 37-year-old becomes the first permanent manager at Ibrox since Pedro Tychena, who oversaw a disastrous seven-month reign at the club. Former youth coach Graham Murdy had been in temporary charge of the team since the departure of the Portuguese in October 2017, with mixed success. He was relieved of his duties on Tuesday. Gerard has been appointed to the role with the remit of closing the gap on bitter rivals Celtic and ending the hoops' pursuit of 10 top-flight league titles in a row, a feat never previously achieved in Scottish football. Brendan Rodgers' side secured seven in a row on Sunday with a 5-0 victory over Rangers at Celtic Park, which proved the final straw for Murdy. King's pursuit of Gerrard has been met with mixed a response from fans and pundits. Former Rangers captain Barry Ferguson had described the potential appointment as bold, brave and potentially brilliant, while figures such as John Barnes, who suffered a disastrous period at Celtic, warned of the pitfalls. However, a litany of big names such as Frank Lampard down south had backed the move. The new boss will be unveiled at Ibrix on Friday at 3 p.m.